Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're talking to Bernard Evans, who's the Sales Director, Physical Identity Access at HID Global. Bernard is here to give us a rundown on their specialized IAM business unit and some other offerings the company have. Thanks for coming along, Bernard, and welcome to the jam. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, glad to be here. Fantastic. So just to start us off, can you tell us a little bit about uh, HID Global as a company and what they do and who your customers are? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, and thanks for that. Listen, for, I guess, over 30 years, you know, HID Global has piled the trusted identities of world's people, places and things. And we're a multifaceted company, you know, focused on making it possible for people to transact safely, work productively, and, and, and as part of that, travel freely. Uh, our trusted identity solutions uh, give people convenient access to physical and digital places um, uh, and connect things that can be identified, verified, and tracked digitally. And, and you know, whether people are aware of this or not, but millions of people around the world use ID, HID products and service to navigate their everyday lives. And, and billions of things are connected to HID technology. Uh, and, and to accommodate such a wide ranging scope of activities, we have six uh, different business areas and each one plays a role in our ecosystem of uh, uh, trusted identity solutions. And the list, you know, as follows, and there's a couple of acronyms I'll throw at you, but they include our physical access control solutions group core PACS, our secure issuance, uh, the acronym for that is SI, the identity and access management division, IAM, which, which I'm a you know, big part of, uh, citizen ID solutions. Then we've got extended access technologies, which starts to look after manufacturers and then the identification technologies business unit, all, all playing a part in this uh, ecosystem. Cool, and just kind of expanding on the um, IAM business unit, um, can you give us a bit of a rundown on what the business model you use is and do you work with channel partners or go direct to market? Yeah, yeah. And listen, I look after the physical identity access management uh, business for ANZ. Um, and, you know, we offer, cons you know, advanced consumer and workforce authentication tools, mobile identity verification, uh, credential management systems, uh, physical identity access management, as well as digital certificates and certificate lifecycle management solutions. And, and I, I guess there's quite a few partners that we'll have to support those different solutions and partners that will support all of them. Uh, I, I guess, you know, uh, a little bit insight into the use of these systems is, you know, about 85 million user identities worldwide uh, use the Identrust digital certificates. And about 6 billion people use, you know, payment transactions per year for our credential management system. So as part of that, you know, we've, we've got a world-class partner community, uh, which extends beyond ANZ, obviously, into the world, uh, of uh, integrators, distributors, OEMs, um, managed service providers, embedded OEMs, uh, and technical alliance partners, and, and you know, uh, together, you know, we, we help identify and, and, you know, help our customers purchase and implement this extensive line of, of you know, and versatile security solutions. Uh, if we look specifically at ANZ, you know, we've, we've got a mix, uh, but it, it, it's a total of uh, 11 active partners operating out of ANZ, you know, for that range of solutions. And what are you seeing in the market at present? Um, have things kind of changed due to the pandemic? Yeah, they most certainly have. Um, you know, and one one example is uh, you know with the larger organisations is is the need for organisations to work as well as they possibly can with you know the existing physical resources. You know, there wasn't too much warning when COVID came along. Um, so this may mean organising you know meeting at work uh, at the closest possible facility, which in turn means that you know the systems that are being deployed to manage these meetings all need to be interoperable. Um, so one of the changes we've seen is, you know, customers looking for a system, you know, to integrate all those systems to make this possible. So obviously one of our products is HID Safe, and it, you know, it sits uh, above a range of silos. And the reason, reason I use the word range is, you know, we don't sit across just security systems, you know, we, we sit across booking system, visitor management systems, you know, to create this one umbrella, this one view, uh, and then, you know, off the top of this integration, we introduce a very high level of automation to make sure that 
you know, um, uh, from a business uh, perspective, you know, customer doesn't lose productivity. We're also, again, another thing we're also seeing is a greater demand for contactless access and payments. Uh, and this means actually, you know, secure di digital identities can be used for access control, digital wallets, passports, citizen IDs, and there's been some significant announcements made in the market, you know, one of them being, you know, with, with uh, a very large uh, 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 mobile uh, device manufacturer in terms of uh, housing um, uh, digital credentials in the wallet so that, you know, they can be used as much as part of the other credentials that they may be using. And on that note, that's probably a good uh, launch into do HID Global have any new developments in the pipeline for um, solutions? Yeah, yeah. I, I referenced HID Safe previously, which is, you know, proving to be very helpful globally, um, you know, across both logical and physical access. I, I guess we're seeing a demand, you know, for our HID solutions, particularly now from smaller organizations, because, uh, you know, HID Safe used to appeal to the very large organizations, the global organizations. Um, but you know, they've got less infrastructure, less supporting staff. So we've introduced a cloud-based option. So, so they, you know, it's shared, so they can easily get up and running in the shortest time possible. I, I guess the other uh, thing we're noticing is people wanting to stretch, you know, the, the paradigm of zero trust, not only uh, for their logical systems, but across to their physical access security systems. So most notably for insider threats and therefore the need, you know, to extend these policies by using SAFE, you know, to bridge the gap between their logical solutions and their physical solutions. Okay. So as, as part of that, we've also introduced, uh, I should mention, we've also introduced a range of, uh, you know, our latest converged credentials, which, you know, also allow for that transaction in the logical world, but also in the physical world. Awesome. And if people wanted to, make more uh, contact with you guys and find out a bit more, how would they best go th through that? Uh, yeah, uh, well, you know, we'd love you all to visit us on our website, which is www.hideglobal.com. But, you know, we also do have a presence on YouTube. So if you, you know, put in the search at HID, there's a lot of useful material and information on our solutions. And um, yeah, yeah, uh, short of that, you know, when you get onto the website, in terms of where you uh, are domiciled or you, where, you, where, you, where you work from, just look for your nearest office and, and dial that number and uh, you'll get great support. Fantastic. Thanks so much for chatting with us, Bernard, and we look forward to seeing what HID delivers in the future. No, no, no. Um, I appreciate it and thank you for your time.